Welcome, everyone. Thanks for coming to our session where we're going to talk about the future of meetings. My name is Serge LaChapelle. I'm a product manager uh, working on enterprise collaboration. And this is my colleague. Uh, Patrick Wynn, uh, also a product manager on uh, Hangouts and specifically for video meetings. And so today, I want to reinforce um, some of the message you heard this morning at the keynote. We're all in on enterprise communication. And whether it is textual uh, team communication over chat, team communication over video, and extending into interactions such as with the whiteboard, uh, the Jamboard. And so today, this session, we'll go do a deep dive on the Hangouts Meet experience that we presented this morning. And I'm going to talk about an epidemic throughout this talk. And it's a silent epidemic in the workplace. Um, more specifically, I'm talking about the fact that 16.7% of every workday is getting wasted. My day is full of 30-minute meetings. And many of them are online meetings. And imagine losing five minutes to set up for every one of those meetings. That's 16.7% of your allocated time. And I, so, of course, I use this number figuratively. But still an incredible number. Even if it was 5%, imagine being able to give your workforce and all of your teams 5% of their time back. And here's how we waste time. We waste time figuring how to get things to work. You have to download software for many, of, many online meeting experiences. Um, you might not have the administrative privileges to install software. Your IT department might be whitelisting software. So you have to go file a ticket, get permission to install piece of software X to get, uh, to, to get into a meeting. Of course, the, the usual struggles with the audio and video issues of trying to uh, understand which microphone you're using, the cameras you're using. And then one that we often uh, forget is that, oh, I'm using six, System X, so I'll need a System X account. And then I'll have to go create an account. I have to remember the password. I have to log in. All of these things cost us time and make us less efficient. I work with global teams. I'm based out of Stockholm in Sweden. Patrick's based in, uh, in the Bay Area. Many of my colleagues here in front with me work out of the, our Kirkland, out, right outside of Seattle office. And we work co clo very closely together. So we need tools that can support our reality of global engineering. Um, we're all on the move. Um, we all try to balance life, uh, family life and work. Being able to take meetings from outside of the office where we're on the go is an important part of our, of our workflow. And more and more, the company intranet doesn't mean anything anymore. We source out some engineering. We source out some testing, some marketing. You work with legal uh, people from other companies. And so this domain focus on communication tools needs to be broken up because it doesn't match the, the workflows that we have today. So I did some napkin math. Um, in my talk yesterday, I shared a little bit about uh, the meeting numbers at Google internally. We've got s somewhere close to 70,000 employees. These employees dial into video meetings 230,000 times every day. They dial in across their laptops, their phones, or their meeting rooms. And we spend about nine years, actually 9.2, 9.3 years of time every day in a video meeting. So if we were to incur a loss of uh, a loss of five minutes for every one of those meetings due to trying to set up or trying to th get things going, that's over $200,000 in lost productivity every day. Um, I'd like to find a, a CIO that would be willing to sign a purchase order for $200,000 every day because of lost productivity. So this is a fun number, but really what it's all about is about removing the interruptions that can create frustration. These break the flow. 
they hurt our ability to do go good teamwork, and you know, they harm these moments of connection that you create with uh, your teams from, that are spread uh, all over the world. And while we can look at Google's use case, you've all been incredible at giving us feedback on the solutions that, that we had in the enterprise. And what's staggering is that Patrick and I, we, we've talked to many of you that use video meetings more than what Google does. And you use video meetings in ways that are very different to what Google does. And we've learned a lot from these. Um, if we were to if we were to categorize the feedback, we'd put them in uh, under several pillars. And I'll walk through these pillars now. Things are too hard to access, hard to get into a meeting, hard to invite people, especially customers, people that are external to your domain. Um, I often use the example, I want General Motors to be able to talk to Ford as a hypothetical example. And this should work. You can't expect Ford employees to have General Motor addresses or vice versa. Um, and when things fail, you want to back up. Maybe you're on the road. Maybe you're driving. Uh, the ability to dial into a meeting was also a key piece of feedback that we've received. And access is also about not missing out if you can't be there, if you're not available. And recording uh, was a, a, a key piece of feedback in this. These systems are hard to use. There's a lot of buttons. There's a lot of knobs. It breaks confidence. Um, simple actions, just as presenting, uh, feel uh, convert, uh, contrived. And, and, and again, you lose this, uh, th this feeling of confidence when you're talking to your audience. Another piece of feedback we've gotten is that a, a lot of the systems out there the user experience is different whether in your conference room, on your laptop, or on your phone. And so trying to add consistency across all the devices one supports is important. We've heard a lot about performance issues, audio issues, video issues, user experiences that aren't snappy and aren't res responsive enough, bandwidth requirements that are too high, deployments that don't work across corporate networks, that are firewalled, that have, enterprise, uh, that have enterprise requirements. And so, of course, we took a, a deep look at our own usage, um, but the, the, the fantastic thing was all this feedback that we've been able to receive from you and build into a, a great product. And so that's why today we're introducing Hangouts Meet. We feel that this is video conferencing uh, a video conferencing experience that will give you 16.7% of your day back. Um, and it's, it just works. So we're going to do a demo. And uh, Patrick's going to help out. Um, a little bit similar to what uh, the demo that was done uh, this morning. But we're going to go much more in depth into it. Um, so let's uh, switch to the laptop, please. And so this is Google Calendar. And the Cloudy Coffee Company has been invited to a meeting. And just as normal with a, a calendar invite, you can open it and follow the link to the meeting. So from Google Calendar, from an email, from your favorite messaging app, that link can be opened. This is a Chrome browser. No plugin, no software was downloaded to get to this experience. And everything I'm going to demo today, no download, no software, native to the browser. This is a green room. This is where we can check our hair. <laughs> this is where we can mute ourselves. It's to make sure as well that I don't join a meeting by accident, that I join when I'm ready. But more importantly, if I'm in a Google-powered conference room, I might want to not join the full meeting. Maybe I'm in this room just to present to the meeting, because I have the video conference already running in front of me. And you know, I took this out of my little travel bag today. These are all the adapters I travel with. HDMI to USB-C, DVI to DisplayPort, uh, VGA, of course, because you, know, <laughs> you can't go anywhere without 1980s technology. Um, 
And this is VGA to USB-C. I, mean, I mean, this is just like, <laughs> I don't know about you, but this feels wrong. So, <laughs> so if I want to just present, I present. I choose what I want to present, and it shows up on the TV and to my audience on, uh, online. But now we're going to go in the meeting full in. And before we do that, this is an i5 Chromebook uh, from early last year. Um, and we're, running, uh, we're just running Chrome. And I want you to sp take attention to how quickly I get into the meeting from here. Boom. So this is about 80, 90% faster than the old or the classic Hangouts. Thank you. And if we're allowed to geek out a little bit, like we've rebuilt the whole JavaScript. It uses half the RAM of the classic Hangouts experience. Uh, this experience renders much, much more video frames per second than the previous experience. And it also reaches HD quality uh, much faster, whereas the classic Hangout could take up to 10 seconds to reach HD quality to ramp up to not overload the network. This one can do it under well, well, well under a second. In fact, the average, we're seeing average times of 100, 200 milliseconds to reach a HD quality. So online with me, we have uh, uh, our product managers in, in Kirkland. Hi, Erica. Hi. Hi. And we have Boyana, who is sitting in a, a Chromebox for meeting powered meeting room in our Hello. Seattle office. Hi. Uh, hi to both. Um, and so I'll walk you through the UI of this experience. So we've, we've worked hard at making things simple, getting things out of the way of your conversation. Um, the first, uh, the, one of the first things we've learned is that um, documents, when we do document sharing, they're often taller than they are wide. So we've moved the thumbnails to the side. Um, we've also uh, made the commands to control the meeting very simple. So by just moving your mouse, you see I can mute myself, I can hang up, I can uh, mute the camera, and most importantly, I can easily present. And we've worked with the Chrome team to redo the whole presentation uh, UI flow so that now you feel you, you'll have an experience that's that puts you much more in control of what you're selecting to present, whether it's a Chrome tab, a window, or your whole desktop. Thanks, Patrick. And um, finally, this is a meeting. I might want to invite other people that were not on the calendar uh, to this meeting. So I can easily pull up the meeting information, copy this to my clipboard, and share it out. And um, I think this is what we're, we're going to do now. So we're going to. Uh, pretend that we're virtually sending that email out, and now we have someone knocking in. Katie works at the Cloudy Coffee Company. She's outside of Huli. She doesn't have a Gmail address. She has never heard of a Google. She's never heard of Google, but she can still come in without any account. So let's admit Katie into our meeting. And uh, Katie is somewhere here sitting. Ah. Can you say hi? <laughs> so she just joined on the iOS client for, uh, for Hangouts Meet. Um, and this was also a problem. Um, individuals that are sometimes doing freelancing or going to a, an interview, they don't want to share their private Gmail address. And I remember talking with Chris about this uh, a, a while back. We've seen people with Gmail addresses such as I hate baby seals 78 at gmail.com. And you don't want to show that to an employer. You don't want to show that in a meeting context. And you don't want to force people to go create just a new Gmail addresses just so that it won't show up in a meeting. So being able to be completely accountless and, and going into a meeting has been, is a core part of this experience. Um, let's talk more about mobile, shall we? Sure. I'll let you take that part while I drink a little water. <laughs> OK. Um, yeah, so we have uh, mobile clients for Android and iOS. Um, and they're purpose built for this enterprise experience, as Serge mentioned. So if we switch to the Wolf Vision, um, so this is just a standard Google Pixel. Um, and uh, what you'll see here is that we have um, an app that's Designed for this experience, like you said earlier, it has, has that context built in. I don't know if you noticed, we pulled the information from calendar. So if someone has bothered to put 
all that prep information into, into calendar, we surface that within the meeting. Um, and it's no exception here. So I can click on this meeting here, and you can see all the meeting details. You can see who's invited and so on. So it's all integrated that way. Um, and I can also join the meeting. So if I click back on join there, and it was also linked there earlier. So I'm going to mute here for a second so we don't get any feedback. But this is what the experience is like for someone. So this is what Katie sees basically right now on her iOS device. Um, and again, you see all the same details. It's just there to keep you in context so you can catch meetings on the fly. You don't have to read your crib notes and then uh, switch back to the meeting. So that's all fun. Um, I'm going to quit the, uh, the meeting for now. Um, the other thing we realized was that uh, the reality is that you're running on the go to airports. I'm sure some of you took air, uh, flew through airports uh, or landed and took off from them, at least, when, uh, to get here. And when you're in, on the go, especially when you're roaming or something like that, the reality, I know it's 2017, but you, you just don't have access to, uh, to the internet on your phone. So you still need to get into your meetings. And we understand that. So with every meeting we have if on the enterprise, uh, uh, sorry, if you get enterprise uh, G Suite, uh, every meeting will give you a dial-in number and, and PIN. And that's unique to that meeting. So you don't have to worry about de deploying numbers or host pins and all that stuff. It just works. Like You just create your meeting and you get it. So if I join this call here, this is just an ordinary phone call. Um, you can see one click to, to connect, one to send the, the meeting code. And I'm going to mute again. Um, and that just connects me through, so I don't have to type in the pin. And it'll just help me join the meeting a lot quicker. Um, so you'll see once that's entered, then I will join the meeting and, and, and you're on, on the way. Um, now. Um, the other thing to show is that, so I'm going to quit that for a second here. Um, uh, we've integrated that directly into Google Calendar as well. So if I jump back into Calendar here, um, you can see here's the original Calendar event you saw earlier. Um, all those details are also in, in the Calendar event invite. So if I click the phone number there again, you get the same uh, click to join ex experience. So generally, it's about two clicks, and you're into the call. It doesn't matter whether you're on iOS or, or Android. And that's that. Um. Thank you. Um, and that's an important thing to remember. Every meeting you create with this system, if you're an enterprise G Suite user, you will get a phone number and PIN attached to it automatically. It's fire and forget. It's a default part of the experience. Um, I learned uh, to not roam. I, I roamed too much uh, internationally last week, and I lost data access because I had to confirm to my carrier that Yes, uh, I, I, I had spent up all my, my data. And then so I wasn't able to join a meeting. Boop, click, switch to the mobile phone. So thank you, Patrick. Um, Do you switch back to the slides? Let's switch back to the slides. Thank you. We've been testing this in September at over 300 companies that are G Suite users. We've had 15,000 end user accounts creating Hangouts meet user, uh, meetings uh, since then. And the feedback has been really positive. So thank you to all of us who are part of our early access program. Um, with our U UX research group, we've done a lot of interviews. We've done a lot of surveys. And we can confidently say that the, this user group has felt that audio and video quality uh, the, their satisfaction with audio and video quality has more than doubled. Um, and and uh, that was, uh, I think th th that was uh, an amazing moment for us to, to, get those results, uh, to get those results in. So we're, at, we're talking about an enterprise context. We're talking about a shift of a, a video conferencing experience into the enterprise. And it's very important for us uh, to show uh, not only that we're, we're not stopping here. Um, we've got a, a team of people working on amazing features coming up over the next few months. I can see some of my engineering colleagues here a bit nervous. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to spill the beans, but I will spill some beans. Um, and uh, so here's what we're, what we're working on. And here's what we expect to have uh, to, to be able to either have in your hands as testers or as a full-blown uh, full feature uh, before the summer. 
Um, summer in Sweden comes a little bit later, so just so you know. <laughs> um, internally at Google, we've turned, on, we've turned this on a few weeks ago. You can save meetings to Google Drive. And you can share them as a video file afterwards. Um, and we feel that this is going to be super impactful, and we'll be releasing this over the next couple of months. And we're really excited about this feature. For certain enterprise customers, this uh, is not possible. This should not be allowed. So of course, you will, have the, the, you will have the levers inside of your administrator panel to turn this on or off uh, at, your, uh, at your desire. Um, Hangouts Meet today supports 30 fully participant, uh, participative participants. I shouldn't have written that. <laughs> that was a tongue twister. Um, and this is important. This isn't a system where I pass a speaker baton and say, it's your turn to talk. Now it's your turn to talk. This is a system that works for teams where everyone can talk, where everyone can interact. And so that, building a system like that um, means uh, a much uh, higher load uh, on, on the infrastructure and on the clients. Um, but we're happy to announce that Again, before the summer, we will be supporting larger meeting rooms of up to 50 fully participative <laughs> participants. Thank you. <laughs> Everything that you've seen doesn't require any server, any infrastructure locally. It's all cloud-powered. Um, but you are, you're, as an enterprise, um, uh, you are also uh, conscious of bandwidth costs, and so are we. And so we've been working hard at upgrading our cloud infrastructure to reduce the requirements on bandwidth for powering these meetings. Um, and so there's no on-premise software, no on-premise hardware. Everything's powered by our cloud, and the requirements for driving uh, beautiful meetings from Hangouts Meet are going to go down over the next few months as well as we've improved a lot of our infrastructure. And we've also worked closely with the Chrome team. Um, as an administrator, you can now push a Chrome policy that tells the browser to use this range of UDP ports because your corporate firewall and your, your, your internal security uh, responsibles uh, might have these policies already in place. So as an administrator, you can tell all of your browsers to go to this set of ports. Um, and that means that connections will probably happen a lot more direct. And in the past, if ports were blocked or the right port range wasn't used, um, Hangouts Meet might try to default and, be, um, and tunnel itself over web traffic. And we all know web traffic is very different to real-time traffic requirements of audio and video. So this is to help, um, help improve your connection rates and also help improve the performance uh, and the quality that you see. We've also, uh, we're also going to be releasing, as part of Chrome, support for authenticated web proxies. And uh, yes, this also feels like VGA, but there are many, many, many companies today where all the browsers, all the, in, all the internet access is done through web proxies still today. And so this, having support for that means that um, you'll be able to talk to your banker. I've worked at Google for 10 years. I've never received feedback like this uh, for a product. And these are customers on our EAP. I've grayed out the names and email addresses that went through the bug filing tool to give us to tell us that they love the experience. That has never happened. So that, for me, that, that, was, um, that, th that was a moment when we sat together with the team and said, yes, we should go for it and launch it. So uh, thank you to all that have submitted this feedback. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's been a, a, an amazing source of motivation for us. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so. We're going to continue to work really, really hard at polishing, 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 removing friction everywhere we see it. Um, and our motto is really to give you 
of your online meeting workday back so that you have time for these kinds of hangouts instead. Thank you very much.